And George, you famously said when you were governor that you enjoyed knocking Democrats' soft teeth down their whiny throats. And you didn't say it with a smile either. And you've said similar things as a senator against Senator Clinton, uh, pushing the Stop Hillary campaign when you were chairman of the Senate Republican Campaign Committee. Some of it might just be, you know, kind of sports or competitive rhetoric, but, but that's not what it's going to take to fix Washington. We need more bridge builders. We need more people who had to listen and find common ground. That's the one thing we're missing in Congress right now, and we've got to put people in place who have a demonstrated track record of being able to do it. Tim, you, you pick out certain quotes uh, from me, and uh, let me share some quotes with folks what other people have said about our records, our records of service. The Washington Post, which rarely says anything good about Republicans, said this about uh, my service in governor, uh, quote, while, while some Democrats in Richmond may hold their applause, and in fact, the General Assembly, uh, in fact, the fact is that Governor Allen has been markedly successful in generating business investment in Virginia. The Virginia Education Association said that our education budget was the best they had seen in a number of years. And then when Tim was takes, taking office, uh, here's what a newspaper said, if, quote, if Tim Kaine is looking for a role model <coughs> for his term as Virginia's chief executive, George Allen's term as governor was one of the most consequential in the 20th century. 